Hi guys and welcome to my micro birthday haul. I got two coloring books. The first one is Secret Garden and the second one is the first Romantic Country coloring book. But I'm not going to be talking about those. Instead, I'm going to be talking about these alcohol markers that my parents got me from Master. I have never really used alcohol markers before, um, so this is going to be a new journey for me. But check out all of these colors. This is, this is crazy. This is ridiculous. There's so many colors to choose from, and I cannot wait to play with them. So similar to Copic, they are double-sided. On one end you have your brush nib, and on the other end you have your chisel nib. I don't know much about them, so I'm going to have to do a lot more research and watch a lot of YouTube videos about it. So if you guys know anybody that uses Copics or anything, please let me know. You can see here there's a rubber um, grip. I think that helps you kind of keep it in your hand pretty good and it won't roll off the table. Both sides of the marker has the name, has the number, and it has the color. So eventually I'm going to color code these a lot more, um, and eventually I think I'll do a color card too. So for the case, um, I have two of these full of markers. Um, it comes with a shoulder strap, and it also comes with a little pocket on the back side, but this pocket is pretty small. I'm not really sure what you'll keep in it, but maybe extra paper, scraps of piece of paper. <laughs> the Velcro is really, really um, sturdy, which is great. That way if you drop it by accident, nothing happens. But once you get it open, there are three sections. All of them are double-sided and also Velcroed, so if you need to take them out, you can. All of your markers are held in place by these elastic bands, um, but when I first started playing around with these, uh, the caps kind of got stuck on the elastic and I had to go fishing for my lid, so I recommend kind of rotating the marker um, before you pull it out so that doesn't happen. As you can see here, you can kind of have it angled and open if you use the little flippy part of the case. So let's give them a try. As I mentioned before, I have hardly ever used alcohol markers. I have like one or two um, that I've played around with just to see how they go um, and I'm not very good at it but I think over time if I keep practicing I might get a little bit better. Unfortunately this time around I was using a coloring book that didn't have like good paper. This is basically like printer paper um, but it was a pretty inexpensive coloring book so I'm not going to complain. You won't see me using um, the blender markers in this, and that's because I'm not really sure how to use it. Um, so once I learn how to use that, maybe I'll update you on how that progress is going. I did find that eventually if I you know, let the first layer not dry, if, I, if it was still wet and I then applied the second color on top of it, it blended a little bit easier than if I let the first layer dry and then put a second color over it and tried to blend it again. <laughs> guess these are all little things I'll have to learn along the way. So please link me anybody you know that uses alcohol markers um, that can teach me how to do it. That would be great. As far as true to color to the lids, I'm not really sure if they're all like that. I did run into a couple that were either darker or lighter than what the cap said, which was kind of confusing, but I think once I make the color guide, it'll be a lot easier. Um, to know what I'm actually grabbing, especially because when I tried these, I thought that these were one color, and then when they dried, they were like a kind of different color, but that's okay, that's just stuff I have to learn. If you like this um, little cute coloring book, I'll leave a link down in the description below for you guys. It is really inexpensive, so I think it was like six bucks, but it's really super cute. The same as the markers, if you guys are interested in those, I'll find a link for you and I will leave it down below if you want to look into them. I did watch one review on YouTube um, and he seemed to like them pretty, pretty well. He said they were pretty good. 
as compared to like Copic markers. So if you're looking for like a little more inexpensive version, you guys might want to check these out. I think these are really fun, especially um, right now while I'm not so OCD about it. Um, it's really easy and quick to complete a page, so this could become something I do in my off time if I know I'm not going to be able to sit down and color like a full page of something. So I'm not going to color the full page for you guys, sadly. <laughs> this is just kind of like an example of what I got for my birthday. So you guys can look forward to a couple more videos from Enchanted Forest and some videos from Romantic Country. As always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button, leave a comment down below if you feel like it, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!